Hi everyone, it's Angel Baby from I Angel Baby Nails and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a full set glow in the dark Chanel themed nail. So stay tuned for the video. Follow us on Instagram and Facebook at I Angel Baby Nails. Subscribe to our channel and make sure you hit that bell button to receive notifications on when I upload. Okay, so the first thing that we do is always spray alcohol on their nails and we're going to push back the cuticles. The reason why we push back the cuticles is because we are removing any dead nail that's just laying on the nail. And as you can see on the cuticle pusher right here, that all her dead nail is coming out of the cuticles. And that is what makes lifting or causes lifting. And then we're going to take our 180 sanding bit and we're going to remove the shine off the natural nails. The reason why we remove the shine off the natural nails is because our bodies produce oil. And therefore, oil is on our nails and acrylic do not stick on oil. So make sure you are removing the shine because this is a very important part because it can cause lifting, pop-ups, and just a mess. So make sure you are removing the shine off the natural nail. I am using my drill by Melody Susie and I'm using my drill bits by McCart and the 180 sanding bid and the bid you can get it from your local supply store or you can get it on Amazon, eBay, anything like that. Then we're gonna take my clear tips and these are by McCart and they are in the shape stiletto. I do use stiletto to make the perfect coffin. So therefore, I'm going to measure our nails and then I'm going to glue it. And I am using a glue called NS glue, but you can use any glue you like. I know KDS is really popular. I used to use it before, but I ran out and honestly, I'm not going to order glue. I'm just going to go get it from my local supply store, but you're more than welcome to order glue. The basic stuff I normally get from the local supply store, but most of the stuff I get from online like I'll get um, alcohol cuticle pushers cuticle nippers uh, alcohol these little tip cutters just anything I will get from the basic stuff I will get from the local supply store but every other other thing like glitter things like that I might get online I make it from the store it all depends so now that we cut to the desired length, I am going back and I am measuring it to make sure. And then I'm going to take my 150 OPI edge file and I'm going to file her nails. So make sure when you are doing the coffin shape, you are holding the file to the, what is it, 140? degree 145 degree angle and then 90 degree angle at the free edge i know it's some kind of angles but listen honestly just do it like how i'm doing it <laughs> that's the best way to describe it i am going to be doing a shaping video so please stay tuned for that i will be doing a video on every single design that i do whether it comes from sugar nails foil in capsules anything like that into more details when i do my clients nails like this and show you this is just how a full set or fill is done but i'm going to go into more details with the design so make sure you hit that bell button so you can get a notification every time i upload and then once we're done shaping i'm going back in with my 180 sanding bit and i am going to be um, drilling the nails and blending them in and of course the biggest tip that I've learned myself is that when you are doing these stiletto tips you have want to take a scissors a nail cutter or a, a tip cutter and you want to cut the ends and I will be doing another video detailed on that so it can blend amazingly you can do it without it but I like it now with cutting it off before starting
and now I'm going back and doing it with the same thing with the same hand like I said and I just want to shout out to all my subscribers thank you so much for subscribing to my channel thank you so much for liking my videos and viewing them as soon as I post them up thank you much love I'm feeling the love to my YouTube channel subscribers you're my YouTube fam so I hope you enjoy my videos and please please don't hesitate to comment below on what type of nails you want me to do what you guys are struggling on so I can make full detailed videos on what you guys need Alrighty, so now I'm going to take my OPI dehydrator and I'm going to dehydrate her nails. And remember, I'm going to dehydrate it twice. So make sure you're dehydrating it twice, only on the natural nail, not the tip, natural nail only. Then I'm going to take my no lift primer and I'm going to prime from her natural nails down to the tip. The reason why I like doing this method is because it helps blend the tip good and I just like it, I've been doing it for so many years, so therefore, I'm going to be doing it like this <laughs> forever. Okay, so now I'm gonna take my acrylic system that is the polymer, the monomer, and the brush. I am using my number 12 Kalinsky brush, and I'm laying that first layer of acrylic now with this pinky it's gonna be all Swarovski crystal so therefore I'm just going to um, fill the nail in as a regular acrylic with my translucent pink I am using the OPI acrylic mon polymer in <laughs> translucent pink and when this runs out I'll be going back to my makeover pink because <laughs> Even though the same exact button, the makeover, I mean, I makeover pink. Ooh, the brilliant pink. I don't know why I keep thinking it's the makeover pink. Anyways, so, yeah, I'm going to be using that. Brilliant pink. Okay, so now for this ring finger, I am going to be doing the custom-made cum color, they like to call it. So, um, I will make a video on how I mix it together. But it is custom made by me. So I did add the first layer of translucent pink. And then I'm going to add the second bead of the white. Now with this comma acrylic, or what I like to call it white. It's very, it glows in the dark. But it's very, very hard to work with. So if you see me add acrylic or clean up or anything like that. That's because it's giving me a hard time. It is really, really pretty, this comb color with the glow in the dark, but it is definitely a hard one. Like, I have this color on my index fingers. That's the card with the heart of ace. And for me, for doing it on myself, it's more easier than doing it on the client. I don't know why adding this comb acrylic, but it's definitely pretty. It's not that bad. So, therefore, I'll keep on doing it. But for me, I'm very particular of how I want my nails to look and my client's nails to look. So that's why I guess it's a hard time. And I'm if you look at my other videos with my best friend do my nails, it was called Watch My Best Friend Do My Nails. And she used this comb acrylic and she really didn't like it. But I love it. And it's and once you know how to 
you know um once you know how to handle the acrylic it should be easy for you and it is custom made mixed so which is so much better than the store um bought one so you know maybe i should start selling it so maybe if you guys comment below if you like to see all my glow in the darks because i mix them all i custom make them all and i will sell it if you're willing to buy it <laughs> But trust me, it is super, super, super dope. Because I remember I tried the Mia Secret Glow in the Dark. I think it was one of their collections. It was like a white one turned into blue. But trust me, when I tell you, I hated it. So therefore, I was like, you know what? I'm just going to do this custom made. So it turned out really good. And I love it. My clients love it. But when I tell you... It's a struggle. <laughs> and make sure you are wiping the sides, wiping the cuticle area. Just constantly wipe. Even if there's nothing on it, just continue to wipe. Get into the habit. Because you see, for me, I could not have nothing on the skin and I'll still go back in and check. Okay, so now for this index finger, I am going to be adding the translucent pink. Then I'm going to be adding some gold glitter. I'm going to pick it up with my brush, which is encapsulating. So I'm just going to add two little strips of it. And you will see in a few seconds. So I did add um, two layers of the translucent pink and also the third layer by the cuticle. And I'm going to add the glitter. All I did was pick up some glitter. And this is the glitter that I custom made. And it's called Rich Forever. Which is literally rich forever. Because that gold is everything. And then once you set it where you like. Then you're going to go back in. And you're going to encapsulate. Okay, so now for the thumb, I am going to be adding that white um, comb acrylic and then I'm going to do the glitter, but it's going to be a reverse ombre. So I was definitely struggling 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 with this acrylic because even though i'm used to using this and i do have it on my hand it's just that it's very very hard to control because it is a mixed um color acrylic that has glow in the dark pigment and the white so but you will learn how to control the acrylic that's the main part as long as you know how to control the acrylic Okay, so now I'm going to pick up some of that same glitter that I'm using. I'm going to place it on the tip and then you're going to feather it backwards, like towards the client. That's how you get the ombre effect in anything. 
when it comes to the color acrylic glow in the dark the glitter just everything and it turned out really really pretty so i did i kept adding little acrylic because i did not mix the glitter with the acrylic i just picked it up with my brush and the monomer and then i'm going to encapsulate it so make sure you encapsulate the nails especially the glitter part now i'm going to start on her left hand and it's going to be the same process the same design on each nail
Now I'm gonna go back in with my OPI 150 edge file and I'm gonna redefine that shape because when you do a acrylic application, it takes sometimes it takes the shape away, so you have to go back and redefine it. And like you guys know in my previous videos, I like my the nails crisp and sharp, and so does my clients. So that's why I go back in and I file it. And then once I file it, I'm gonna take my gold medium coarse drill bit and I'm going to drill around her nails and I like to file then drill then go back in with the other hand and file and drill you sometimes you'll see me mix it up with um, different sets sometimes I just file it all then drill, go back and drill it all it really just depends on how I feel I like to mix it up most of the time because I don't like to say the boring boring routine <laughs> I like to make it fun and not I mean you're doing the traditional way like you're doing the same rules and everything like that but you're just mixing it up and whatever makes you happy whatever makes you know you feel unique that's how I like to say it so as you guys know you have to make sure you are drilling around that cuticle area because that is super important without doing that you will get lifting so make sure you are sealing that in and then using the body of the drill bit to drill the body of the nail and if you lay down your acrylic correctly you won't have to do that much drilling but of course if you are a beginner don't worry about it you will soon get to there you just have to keep practicing practicing and practicing Now I'm going to take my buffer and I'm going to buff out the nails and make sure when you are buffing out the nails that you are going in with one of your fingers. I use my thumb and going over the nail to make sure it is super smooth because if not it will show in your polish application and even though this is an all acrylic set when you put that top coat you don't want any dents or scratch marks. So make sure you're going over it again and buffing it as good as much as you want and as good as you want. Alrighty, so now I'm going to be placing these Chanel logo. Why did I say Versace? And I just, I just realized, guys, I am so sorry. I just realized I said Versace because literally the next day after I did this, I did a something similar, but it was Versace. I am so sorry <laughs> so basically I'm placing these Chanel decals or I didn't really put it in the acrylic I would want to test it out on top of the uh, on top of the acrylic like a kind of like a sticker but these are definitely decals so but it does stick so you can just stick it onto the nail and then you're gonna add the top coat after so on her index finger I did just add the Chanel word and then on the ring finger added three different type of logos of Chanel's different type of design and the same thing I did for her other hand so it was the index and the middle the index the ring finger and the thumb Okay. and once you place it make sure you just pat it down with your hand make sure it's sticking properly nothing sticking up well sometimes these decals they like to stick up especially when you're putting on top of the nail but don't worry about it just make sure it's patted down now I'm going in with my Swarovski crystals I am using my Mia, uh, Mia, Mia, Mia secret gel resin my Jenny secret top, um, part 2 and my crystal katana but as always i use my color club in the color just my luck which is a regular polish and i am using this as the background because when i do do a full nail of Swarovski crystals i like to have a background just in case if any was to go missing you can see so you can't really notice so like i said i am using my mia secret and the jenny secret part two you place the Mia Secret Gel Resin, you 
take your crystal katana or any wax pencil you like to use and you're gonna place it on the nail then you are going to take your Jenny's Secret Part 2 and you are going to seal it in and yeah I like to start from the top and going down to the bottom if you're adding a color a Swarovski crystal I like to place those first and then go around it with the other ones and you have to do this pretty fast because the gel resin does um, it does dry up fast and also you do want to add a good amount of the Mia Secret gel resin because that's what I've learned because in in the past I've used Mia Secret but then I really like Jenny Secret part one but the Jenny Secret part one honestly that's Cardi B nail tech and she is amazing but at the same time that the gel resin any gel resins get stuck the bottle and it was really good I mean I liked it but that but you would have bought that bottle you would use it maybe two or three times and it will get stuck then you having forever taking forever to just open the bottle so when i did run out of the jenny secret i did start using the meal secret because the jenny secret is going to take way too long to reorder so i just started using the meal secret and then the jenny secret part two Okay, and then for this middle finger, I am going to be just placing this, the black and gold Swarovski crystals across the nail. And then using Jenny's Secret Part 2 to seal it in. And then I'm going to take my top coat and I'm going to seal in it. And I do put the top coat all over the nail. And if it's the Swarovski crystals, I go back in with my finger and I just take it off of the Swarovski crystals so I can give that natural shine and this what helps it stay on longer okay then I'm gonna let that cure for 90 seconds and I'm going to repeat the same steps on the next nails.
Alrighty, and this is the finished look. It's all Chanel, Swarovski crystals, and acrylic. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.